Assalamu alaikum friends I hope you are happy healthy and enjoying your life Our today's lecture is about the characteristics of human language As I have mentioned in my previous lecture that there are six features of human language that distinguishes it from the animal communication Today we are going to discuss all these features individually so let's start First characteristics of human language is displacement which allows the language users to talk about past or future events or those are not present in the immediate environment or you can say to communicate throughout time and across space is displacement it enables us to say things which we know to be false in contrast animal communication is situational and based on immediate environment or context for instance dogs barking is the example dogs barking is in response to whatever prompted the barking and their barking cannot really be used to express its meaning before or after the events however human communication is limitless and they can say anything at any time by using any type of sentence structure In contrast bees communication have these characteristics for example bees are able to convey the information about food sources by dancing when they when they have to inform to the other group of bees about the sources of food Second characteristic of human language is arbitrariness it is the absence of any natural or necessary connection between a word meanings and its sound or form it means that there is no natural or inherent relationship between the sign and their meanings therefore different language users use different signs to refer to one and the same thing for example in english we use the word flower but in german and french different words are used for the same object similarly iconicity and onomatopoeia are also the features of arbitrariness in iconicity we create a resemblance between the sign and its meaning for example small tall and fat in onomatopoeia we used to mirror or echo the sound made by animals and objects through language for example the sound of watch is tick tock similarly existing sounds can come to mean new things and new signs can also created for the older things for example kogalet in contrast animal language have fixed meaning and fixed reference productivity is the third feature of human language which enables us to combine symbols words sound and phrases in new ways to express particular ideas it allows us to create new utterances by combining the building bricks of language in new ways whether these be sound word or sentences similarly word formation is also within the feature of productivity in contrast animal cannot produce new utterances and they have no the system of language but they have different type of communication to convey their ideas or their feelings in a systematic way that is the fixed one duality or double articulation is another characteristics of human language in duality language operates at two separate layers by providing discrete sounds or by combining these phonemes at first level we have sounds and at second level we have words like you can see power by turn at the, at the first level and second level is bin nib and tub these are the words combined by uh, making these sounds at first level no inherent meanings are produced in isolation but have virtually unlimited number of distinct meaning by combining these sounds in certain ways at the second level however animal communication is just based on sounds they do not have second level that is the the rare characteristics of human language next characteristics of human language is culture transmission in culture transmission language is learned from the environment or culture or uh, you can say child language acquisition is the form of cultural transmission for example if a child born in spain to spanish parents but then adopted by english parents in england 
that child will tend to grow up in english speaking community and his or her first language will be english unless the english parents expose him or her to the spanish language however animal pass this ability of communication to their offspring genetically last feature of human language is discreteness in discreteness we have sounds in language with the different meanings and different sounds for example pack and pack are two different words with the distinction of only one phoneme pa and ba because pronunciation of both words create difference however each sound in language is treated as discrete sound discrete nature of language depends on four elements first one is vocal second verbal third discrete and fourth is words language is vocal because it is crucially associated with the articulatory or vocal organs verbal because words play a central part in language discrete all languages have different meanings with the same phonemes or sounds words all languages have different words for the same objects like flower english and bloom in german that's all from today's lecture i hope you enjoy kindly subscribe and like us